One of the most recognizable elements of the packout system are these aluminum corner rails, yet they are often underutilized. Today I'm going to show you more than 10 different ways to make the most out of this overlooked feature. In this video I'll be sharing 6 unique solutions I've designed to clamp onto the rails and make them more versatile. But first, I have a few simple hacks that will increase the functionality of the rails. First up, using them as lashing points. Although the packout system is very extensive, they don't make everything just yet. So if you use some non-packout items, you can easily tie it down with the corner rails. My preferred method is using half inch rope. Whether you use something from the hardware store or climbing rope, it should be plenty strong and easy to tie and untie knots. Another very common type of rope I'd recommend is paracord. It's pretty thin, but still very strong. You can also get cams to tighten your ropes without tying knots. Check the links in the description for some of these recommended products. Two other ways to hold down items are bungees and ratchet straps. I think they are a bit more limiting, but they would definitely get the job done. Next, let's talk about storing extension cords. After getting my first 3D printer, one of the first things I made were these cord wraps. They're a very popular accessory and might work great for you, but if you spend a lot of time working inside, maneuvering through doorways in tight spaces, you will quickly notice how much they protrude from your box. A more low profile way to store a 25 foot extension cord is starting by folding it in half. Put the loop through the inside of the bottom rail and continue to wrap the cord around like this. It might take a few seconds longer than using the cord wraps, but it doesn't stick out very much from the front of the stock box. If you want an option that's even quicker and easier, then I'd recommend using these Velcro cord wraps. A quick wrap and a clip to the rails makes accessing the cord very simple. I'll link these extension cord accessories in the description below. Speaking of Velcro, a bonus hack I have for you is this magnetic wrist wrap. Now your rails are a convenient spot to hold a few small screws and bits. For this next hack, you're going to need some carabiners. But not these cheap ones from the hardware store. They're a bit too small. Instead, I recommend climbing carabiners. They're super strong and much nicer than the basic ones. Another benefit to climbing carabiners is that some have a locking gate. This one is a screw gate, and others are auto-locking. So now when you attach your bags, keys, gloves, and more, you know that they'll be attached securely. A cheaper alternative to carabiners that I use are zip ties. I prefer using reusable ones like these so you can quickly secure or release different items. And the sixth bonus tip may be obvious, but these rails can be nice handles. It's no secret that packout boxes can get heavy so any extra weight to grab and transport the boxes is very convenient. Now let's check out my 3D printed accessories available on whyhedesigns.com. Let's start out with the metal rail adapter. All of these products are easy to install and don't require the removal of any rails or using set screws. The metal rail adapter creates a steel surface on the aluminum rails. So your magnetic tools, such as the M12 Rover Light, which inspired this product, attach well to the outside of your packout box. If you're interested in seeing a detailed review of the M12 Rover, you can check out my YouTube video here. As long as the tool or accessory has a strong magnet, it should be compatible with the metal rail adapter. If your packout worktop ever starts to get cluttered like this, I would recommend the Handler Organization System or a simpler item, the Magnetic Packout Rail Adapter. By using magnet rail adapters, you can hold a wide range of hand tools in an accessible location. And in every order, I'll include five of these black stickers so you can protect your tools and the magnets from scratches and make it look a bit sleeker. The magnets I've chosen are super strong and are great for holding a wide variety of hand tools, from hex keys to screwdrivers to pliers. For even more hand tool storage, you might be interested in the Tough Built Rail Adapter. Now you can take your Tough Built pouch right off your tool belt and add it to the Packout Stack. The Tough Built Rail Adapter is compatible with all Tough Built Clip Tech pouches. If you've been a subscriber for a while, 
you probably know about my handler organization system, which is a family of 3D printed products designed to attach to the handle of modular toolbox systems like Packout. The great thing about these products is that in addition to attaching to the handles of your toolbox and the Waihee wall, all of the single cleat items will also attach to the handler rail mount. Now you can customize the corner rails with bins for fasteners, holders for flashlights, the four inch cup for spray paint cans or water bottles, hooks for holding your keys, and I'll soon be releasing a few more products like the plumber's cup. To add a bit more modularity to the system, add something like the phone holder that adds two more slots into your system. For even more handler storage, I designed the handler side rail mounts, which work on all of the boxes that have rails on the front and back. The brackets and wall mount have a little bit of flexibility to them, which will make installation a lot easier. When the side rail mount is released on my website, you'll be able to choose between any of the different front plates. After tightening the rail brackets, Tighten the two screws that attach the wall mount to the brackets by hand. Now your toolbox is compatible with all double cleat accessories, such as the tray. Or you can use up to five smaller accessories like the bit holder, mini bins, and hook. For the full list of handler system components, make sure to check out whyhedesigns.com. And my latest creation is in collaboration with Nolster. For those of you that don't know what Nolster is, it's the best locking tool clip on the market. The Nolster rail adapter is a convenient place to securely place your drills or other tools that you may have switched over to a Nolster clip. You're probably familiar with the standard belt clips that come with your drills or impacts, but they have a big problem. The clip is not secure and puts the drill at risk for getting knocked off your tool belt. The Nolster clip is a direct replacement for normal belt clips and only comes off when you want it to. This special rail mount has been designed to allow the Nolster clip to conveniently click into place. This mount can still support normal belt clips, but you won't get that satisfying and secure click. If you decide you like using the Nolster clips, I have also designed these Nolster Packout Organizer bins. These bins are a direct replacement for the standard size red bins and are a simple yet secure way to carry fasteners or other hardware. They are available for pre-order in four varieties, PTG Basic, PTG with two bit holders, TPU Basic, which is a flexible material, and TPU with two bit holders. As I just mentioned, they fit perfectly in a standard size organizer. So now you can have a tool belt list set up with fasteners and your drill ready to go. If you're interested in any of these pack out add-on creations, or packs for short, I'll have a link to my website right below the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more 3D printing and tool content, and I'll see you in the next one.